Welcome to Better Kansas City. This is going to be a fantastic Friday. We have a mermaid in the house, so we're going to talk to her in a moment. But first, say cheese. We're joined in the Price Chopper Kitchen by Roberta McDonald. Yay. Do cheese jokes ever get old? Never. 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 Not when you're with Cabot not, Cheese. Not when you're ready to cut the cheese and it's all about the farmers, <laughs> Alexis. You're, you're a co-op. Yes, Cabot Cheese is, is a Cabot Creamery, is a co-op that has been around for a really long time. How does the co-op work? 100 years. 1,100 farm families, they each have owned the brand. Mm -hmm. So when you have Cabot, you know who made it. It was the farmers, and you know whose milk went into it. And we're from Vermont and upstate New York. There is something magical about your seriously sharp white cheddar. What? My what outfit. Is it, what is in it? What is in the seriously? I know what's in it, but why is it so good? What do you do to that? I love your enthusiasm. I it's, love, I love it's, cheese. It's I been, do I love cheese? It's been naturally aged. Uh -huh. The quality of our milk is exceptional, and I hate to tell you this, but the Midwest likes a lot of bland cheese. Oh, you think hey, so? Yeah, so you've got you've to get used to this sharper, naturally aged, sometimes up to a year, sometimes up to five years. Mm -hmm. So that's what gives it that extra kick. That, and then is it the, the white color? Does that make it even sharper? Because there's something different between the yellow and the white. What color is milk? White. Uh-huh. So the white cheese is more pure? Uh-huh. Well, what makes the yellow cheese yellow then? Annatto, vegetable annatto. So coloring? Coloring. Oh. Here's Ooh, our myth. Here's our color. myth. Okay. Well, it could be like a sports I mean, it thing. could be yay, right? Um, our myth is that Canadians uh, who had yellow cheese, uh -huh. uh, we were the ones that decided not to, not okay. to put the coloring in, to distinguish it. See, I don't mind dogging on Canada, <laughs> but the Midwest, you're in thin ice here. You gotta be careful. That's this a is farm thing. country. What are you making for us today? You're making two awesome ingredients that will be just in time for tailgating season I, when it I comes forgot, to baseball. Alex, I don't know what I'm making. No. You're making a I, I came here all this way uh -huh. to shred this cheese, and what it is is I, I'm gonna show you how to do taco bowls, but no tacos per okay, se. Okay, no tacos. With it's a quinoa. A quinoa taco bowl. So quinoa is probably the highest protein seed you can have. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's it's gluten free. It's great if you have people that don't love meat, but more than anything, has tons of protein. Yeah. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this quinoa in a bowl, and then all this is is assembly is required. You've got your cumin spices, your paprika, or just use a package sauce. Can we talk about the cheese to quinoa ratio? Because that's pretty spectacular right you, there. Okay, that cheese? is so personal preference. <laughs> Lay it on, baby. You ready? Cheese in the quinoa is and like two symbols. And notice the other silver tongs here that I'm using. Um, uh -huh. A little bit of cilantro if you like it. But here's the salsa to the side. So is this a dish you eat cold? I eat it cold. I also warm it up because then you melt the cheese. Ooh. So you can do all this off your stove. A little black beans, again, more protein. If you like avocado, you, you can, can add slice that. that up. Or a little bit of corn, you can shuck it. Or frozen because it makes it easier. Now notice, all I'm doing is adding color. So around this rainbow, I have got, that's just a serving I that's might beautiful. like. I top it with a little sour cream, a little onion if you want to. You can now microwave this for 30 seconds. You can serve it just like this. You can add a burger that you've done or do you turkey. Do you Frito pie in Vermont? What's that? Where you open up the bag of Fritos and put the taco on the Frito bag. Uh, no, <laughs> we missed that. that. We missed that. <laughs> it's a favorite. It's a, it's, a, it's a tailgating favorite. You could put that in the bag of Fritos. And ah. there you go. You eat it with a spoon. This is less than 200 calories. <laughs> Minus the Fritos. Okay, that's. I just happened <laughs> to bring that up with the Fritos. That's good. That's, oh, wait, we have one more to get to. Your pimento, your cheesy pimento spread. This is if you talk like this, Alexis. It's a southern thing? It's very southern. And okay. the ratio is four to one. Okay, now that's all you have to know about it. Four, four, four parts to one. cheese, four one part whatever. Four parts cheese, whether you can use cracker cuts or shreds. Now, the one part is either half Greek and a little bit of mayonnaise, or if you're really Southern, it's all mayonnaise. You just mix that up, dice up the little pimentos, and I'm telling you, if you put that on some bread and grill it. Can I just eat it with a spoon? Yes, you may. I'm gonna take a little taste here. I wanna ask you about something important, because Cabot okay, Creamery watch this face. is a certified, okay, you wanna watch my face first? Yeah, let's say yum. Mmm. Oh, is that's that a really fake good. Yum, or no. is that a good? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This, this is good mermaid. My taste food buds too. are on fire. All right. I love this. 
It's, and it, it's like imagine fireworks. Imagine a grilled cheese sandwich. I could eat this like soup. We, we served uh, Jimmy Carter's Habitat for Humanity. 2,500 people kidding. did this every day with our pimento sandwiches.